Good morning, boys and girls. It's time for Children's Moment. I hope you are listening closely to the scripture reading this morning. That story is one of my favorites about Jesus. And I imagine that it was a normal day in Jerusalem that day until everyone heard that Jesus was coming. Many had heard that Jesus could do anything. Some had even seen Jesus do amazing things. They'd seen him calm storms. They'd seen him feed a multitude of people with five loaves of bread and two fish. They'd seen him heal the sick and raise the dead. Crowds were gathering in the streets. Children were carrying balloons. Wait, they weren't carrying balloons? They didn't have balloons back then? Okay, well, oh, I know. They were throwing confetti. Throw your confetti, just like that. They were throwing confetti. Oh, they weren't doing that either? Hmm. Oh, I at least know what they were shouting. Let's let's listen in and see if we can hear them. Oh, no? They weren't saying hip hip hooray? What were they saying? Hosanna, that's right. And they were taking off their cloaks and they were cutting tree branches from the trees and laying them in the road to celebrate and honor Jesus. Right. And that's what we are remembering today, that Jesus came into Jerusalem and we celebrate that. Palm Sunday has always been one of my favorite Sundays to go to church because of the palm branches. Here's a picture of me as a four-year-old waving my palm branches after church on Palm Sunday. Even though we're at home, we can still celebrate Jesus. Whether it's throwing confetti or shouting hooray, or maybe you went out and you cut down your own branch from a tree. You can wave it around and shout Hosanna. Hosanna. Eliza, how do you celebrate Jesus? Great! So I hope you will find ways to celebrate Jesus today. Let's pray together. Dear God, our voices join with the voices of the people in Jerusalem some 2,000 years ago. Hosanna! Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We'll see you next week. Bye!